hours this time. I gave y'all mad hours last time. I gotta, I gotta try to run through some shit. You feel me? Okay, I'm gonna introduce this topic one more fucking time. All right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. Now I'm playing ball naked, nigga. I have an outdoor court. <laughs> uh <laughs> all right, bet yo, people. The Lambo truck. That money bag yo reportedly gifted Ari Fletcher. It was reportedly leased. And there's a court order for it to be repossessed. Ari previously denied that the car was leased, rented, slash rented after K Michelle let the cat out of the bag during her feud with money bag. Yo. Now let me just tell you how I look at this. By the way, I don't look at at um, Ari is any type of way. I think Ari got money. No matter what I say about Ari, I think Ari getting back. She 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 got money. I think Money Bag Yo got money. But what we should really realize is that when you see these type of things, like for example, Money Bag Yo gave her a car, right? But as soon as I hear they broke up two months ago, he stopped paying it. So that's why the the the, the leasing company is coming for the car because they're like. If y'all not paying for it, we're taking it. Essentially, we realize all these IG relationships are smoke and mirrors. These people are gifting shit that people... And by the way, I know girls who I've linked with that they be like, yo, what you gonna get me for Christmas? I just seen Jada get from Lil Baby this. And I'm like, nigga, Lil Baby ain't buying that cash. That's cap, even though he got the money to do it. By the way, this doesn't have nothing to do with people's financial status. It's for the look. And by the way, I think it's a great insurance plan. I think Money Bag Yo learned this from from, from, from um, um Quavo. Nigga, don't, if you pay the shit off and put it in her name, nigga, she gonna wrap that shit a different color and have another nigga in the car. Now, I know some of y'all might be like, and by the way, I'm only saying this for like when it get uploaded to YouTube. Yo, act, well, didn't you buy Selena car? That was not true. You know, I, I, I took credit for buying her a car that she bought herself with her OnlyFans money. And I took credit because I ain't going to lie. There was mad hoes online who who were hypnotized. Like, women online, let me tell you, the best way, you have never seen women hit me up like that before. That's why I really took credit. Nigga, when Shaden posted, Ak bought Selena a, a car, oh my God. Nigga, there was bitches from left, right, center, Ethiopia. There was a bitch from Mars. There was a bitch on a UFO. Nigga, there was hoes everywhere. They were like, oh, sh you know what it is? Because women... All want that. But in reality, they're not realizing it's not real. Like, this is a straw purchase. This is a purchase that is to let y'all think that there's a relationship there when niggas ain't really paying for shit like that. Now, granted, the Selena shit, Selena paid cash for her own shit to clear the air. She she asked me, she said, you want to take credit like you bought me it? I said, fuck yes. You know why I said that? Nigga, my inbox was filled with horse. Nigga, they were like, fly me out. You know what everybody thought they were going to get? They didn't think they was going to get a fucking uh, um, 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 Mercedes truck. They're like, shit, that nigga might just buy me like a, might just, that nigga might just fuck around and buy me a GLE. <laughs> that nigga might just fuck around and just buy me a Maserati or some shit. Like, whatever the fuck they thought they was going to get. But, again, back to back to this, I think this was a good insurance plan for um, Money Bag Yo. He probably, he probably put, fit, I'm going to give you the facts on it. So, I own one, so there's one in my garage. I actually haven't driven in a while, and I got to make sure these, like, usually I, I'm supposed to hook up something to it, and it hooks up to the power, because cars like this, especially at least where I live at, in Miami, they're driving a lot. Where I live at, this is like once a month type of drive. Anyway, so you hook something up to the battery that constantly charges it, that it doesn't go dead when you don't drive it, because you need to drive it to keep charging the battery. Anyway, um... I bought mine for, and I'm being very transparent with y'all because I just want to, like, you know, bro, I used to be like y'all not understanding what life is. And this is why when I meet women and they're hypnotized by this industry shit, like, I like to burst their bubble because I used to be them. But I've seen what it is. That car right there, um, apparently that's a 2019 version. I have a 2021. I bought it last year. Um, it was custom. We built it. It got shipped from Italy. I think that's that's where it came from. And it came in seven or eight months, right? I bought the R8 during the time I was waiting. Um, the price completely on it with taxes, delivery fees, everything else came to about, I believe, um, the sticker was like 250 
But once you do everything, it comes to around three hundred. I could probably I probably got a thing where because I wired the money cash. Okay, so I paid three hundred thousand dollars for for that car, right? Um, which, by the way, just to let you know too, it's still worth three hundred thousand dollars because a Lamborghinis are sold out for like two years. So like I could sell that car. And by the way, like the last, I, I just did like a, I went to the dealership. They're trying to buy my R8 badly. Like, I don't know what's going on with the car market. Anyway, here's the point. Cool. It's $300,000 for the car, right? And I also, I'll give you a funny story too. I was going to buy, when I was going to buy my R8, because I already have an Audi. I won't tell you, I want Audi because I am I drive that most of the time. That's my everyday car. That's when I actually lease. So when I when I went to go get the R8, I wasn't going to buy it cash. I've all my other cars have been cash, but I wasn't going to buy it cash. But I started doing the math, and um, I was going to put down twenty thousand dollars, right? And the payments were going to be like two thousand, like twenty eight hundred, or maybe like three thousand something a month. Which that's how I'm telling you, this is how it goes, brother. Like I know y'all don't want to believe this, but this is how it goes. Everybody does that. Me and me being a biomath major and me also trying to just save money over the long run, I looked at the interest over paying for this car over whether it's five years or whatever. And I realized in interest, they were going to collect about thirty to forty thousand dollars. And I remember I was haggling with the guy, the general manager of the of the dealership. And I said, bro, if I lease this car at the end of the lease, the buyout price is going to be this. I'm, I already paid y'all this. The car is now worth this. I'm going to be paying 40 extra thousand dollars for a car that's really a depreciation asset. So I was trying to get, get him to come down off some of the shit. He kind of just wouldn't because these cars are like really wanted. And I said, fuck it. We're not doing financing. I'm going to wire the money. And I just bought it cash. So th that's how I kind of did that. What happens with these cars, you put $15,000 down. And I know some people are like, no, if you have good credit, you don't put none down. Okay, well, if you don't put none down, nigga, like, they're going to probably tax you some other way. You don't get away from paying for these cars, okay? It costs $300,000, you're paying somebody $300,000, okay? There's no way around it. Okay, so now what happens is you're going to uh, um, you're gonna pay this wild amount, right? Say $3,500 per month. Maybe I can find out where they were paying. Hold on. Can I zoom in? I'm gonna look at my phone. Now, I'm, I'm I'm telling you why I'm breaking down the math of of owning a car like this, and I'm being mad transparent because I own one, but I also know and I I own it outright. But I know what it would have been if I didn't own it outright. And I was making payments. I'm breaking it down because a lot of times when we see shit like this on Instagram, we're all all automatically thinking that's three hundred. Like money bag yo pulled up with a duffel bag and threw three hundred thousand dollars, and that was it. That's not the situation. So, let me see if I can find out how much they were paying for that. And, 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 I'm, and I'm here not to roast nobody. I'm here to educate y'all because this isn't a roasting experience. You get me? Um, obviously, we're going to see later. So, so, these are paperwork, right? This is a paperwork that they're going to report a car. This is when she just got a car. This is when they just got a car. By the way, I don't know if you remember when I got my Lambo. It was the day I got suspended off Twitch for some dumb shit. Um, I got suspended off Twitch. I got suspended off Twitch. Um, what was it? I can't remember what happened. I got, I, I think it's, anyway, I got suspended off Twitch. They delivered it here. It was like a bittersweet moment because I got suspended to Twitch the same day, but I got the Lambo. And um, yeah, they, they bring they bring it on some truck. Got the lamb. If you ain't got the lamb, it's your birthday. You right? Okay, and I'm gonna stop it here for a second. You messing up the. The reason why I say the industry is pretentious because I've never seen giving somebody a gift that requires more payments. So I'm not knocking money bag yo for leasing a car. I'm not knocking Ari for not wanting to continue the lease. You get what I'm saying? I can't knock either of them. Because if if I get you a gift and I'm leasing it, right? Which many people do. This is very this is very regular. I can tell you 95% of your favorite rappers with that car leases it. I know because when they told me, 
I, like I used to all these things with Lambos. I used to try to talk about my Lambo compared with theirs. I'm like, yo, we're like Lambo brothers, and they would all just tell me, yeah, I just got I got it for free. I just did a promo for the place that gave it to me. Like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna keep it for three months. They won't give me another car. I'm like, nigga, what? So I'm like, wait, wait. So I paid three hundred thousand dollars while you just. So I realized this is all a scam. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's for impressionable, stupid niggas online to think that this is real. So money bag, you'll probably put 15000 down. Got to pay 3000 a month. The relationship probably only lasted like a year or a year and a half. And then he's not going to keep paying for a fucking car that he ain't with the chick for. So it's a Quavo situation. If she wanted the car, finish the payments. Right. But obviously, she probably looking at it like, well, if I paid off, people gonna think that money back yo bought it for me. So she probably willingly just let him repo the shit. And I guarantee, how much I wanna bet, she's gonna post that she's buying a new car herself because she got money without a nigga, just like how Sweetie did. But she's gonna actually buy it. Um, Make the. <laughs> by the way, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, yo, I'm gonna tell you why this is also good. I was with a girl. I won't say which girl it was. Actually, what 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 you my ex? I don't I don't want y'all to go back into shit like that. But but you know what I'm talking about. She used to like compare her gifts to like what niggas like. Little baby was giving Jada. She'd be like, "Yo, I know you got money. Why why why, why they get that and I get this?" And the whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, "Bitch, you know I'm paying for this shit cash. These motherfuckers is putting fifteen thousand dollars down and then giving a bitch a car note. That's the whole point." So all I'm trying to say is that money bag yo ain't broke, Ari ain't broke, but this is why y'all stupid motherfuckers who bought into this goddamn relationship got finessed. Because money bag yo made a wise fifteen thousand dollar investment to get his career up. All the bitches on the shade room was loving money bag yo because their stupid ass was thinking that they deserve a Lambo. So they're like, oh, oh, we love a man who get us a Lambo, bitch. 15,000 got millions of y'all to think that this nigga is buying a $300,000 car cash for her because of her fucking birthday. No, nigga. It didn't happen. Now y'all know. And now I hope y'all feel stupid about it. That's the only thing I'm trying to say. You get what I mean? This is, a, by the way, I don't not, this is the reason why I'm not knocking money back, yo. It's the best investment you can make. You bought this fucking, you didn't buy it. You leased it for 15,000. And he probably, it probably wasn't under his name. Hopefully it was a company name because this is going to go on his credit. Right? You spent 15000 You probably made three or four payments after that subsequently of $3,000. If he's slick, he have insurance in her name. And life goes on. Yo, I, I, I'll, I'll give you all something about these cars too. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to flex on y'all. I'm just trying to educate y'all. Because, again, I know uh, I, I know y'all not stupid. But but sometimes y'all might not know. I only found this out when I got these cars. So, these, these cars, most car insurance companies won't underwrite anything over usually one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars i'll tell you what that means i had a regular like these are the most expensive cars i had my car insurance i had to move my cars to my house insurance because you're basically having a fucking mortgage that's a mortgage three hundred thousand dollars a mortgage for some places so your car insurance company says yeah i'll insure your little honda your fucking you know your charger but if you come with a $300,000 car, like, nigga, we're not doing that. So what happened when I got those two cars, they they, they said, well, if you, that car get written off right now, we'll give you, a, well, how much they did? $150,000, which is like half of what the car costs. So literally I had to move it on to my house insurance. And my house insurance, obviously, which is millions, like that dealt with it. But it, it, it just kind of shows you like, Bro, that's why I be knowing most of this industry should be capped because when you actually own these cars and you actually have to pay real money to whether insure them or go through all the hassle to deal with these things, 
You know that niggas ain't just waking up to say, I'm just gifting my bitch $300,000 car. And then when our anniversary comes up in four months, I'm going to gift her some other shit for half a million. No, fuck no. Shit don't work like that. I'm telling you the truth. So Moneybag Yo did the best thing right here, nigga. Gassed it up. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Moneybag Yo won this whole shit. His career went all the way up dealing with Ari. Let's keep it 100. Ari gave a different, yo, she gave context to him as a rapper and opened up visibility to so many women who looked at him as some gangster but a good boyfriend type of shit. All the ratchets who love Ari, they don't love it, money bag, yo. What I'm, this is what I'm trying to say. In rap, I always tell any if any rapper has a girlfriend, buy her some shit. Re don't really buy it. Like I'm giving a, I'm giving the advice that Money Bag Yo did, that Quavo did. Buy her some shit that's supposedly expensive, but don't really buy it. In, in the sense of if it costs half a million, bro, just put out twenty thousand dollars. Let her post it on the gram. The shady one will take it up. Every little female platform say, like, "Oh my God, I want a nigga like that." You know they're gonna have memes of. Get you a nigga who gonna buy you a Lambo for your birthday. Oh, my nigga put me in a lamb chop. They gonna gas it so much. Now these little stupid whores, they're, fr they're fans of you now. So now you're rapping about Waukesha. They're gonna buy your songs. They love your shit. Your career going up. You selling records. All because they think you bought your girlfriend a fucking Lambo. You didn't. The shit costs 300000 You put down 20000 nigga. And you fucking win it. You see the finesse? For any rapper, if you're with your girl, don't buy it cash. Like, for me, buy yourself the shit cash. Because, like, nigga, you're working hard for you. For your girl, number one, never put it in her name. That's a good one, too. Unless, you, will you put it in her name? Actually, you could put it in her name with all the payments. Fuck that. <laughs> That's a new thing. You know, the chicks would be like, yeah, if you're going to buy me, I want my name on it. Okay, good. Your name is on it with all the debt. I put your name on it. Let's run your credit, bitch. We do that. <laughs> we could put your name on it. After they run a credit check. You know what I mean? So essentially, <laughs> the point is this, man. Money bag yo finessed. Yo, let me tell you this. Money bag, yo, in this relationship with Ari, got millions of dollars of promo. I'm telling, bro, I'm telling you this is a fact, dog. Does anybody here disagree that Money bag, yo's career went to the fucking moon after he was dealing with Ari? Because remember, Ari now isn't Ari back with G Herbo. I don't think G Herbo made Ari, but Ari definitely didn't make Money bag, yo, but Ari helped Money bag, yo. Because by the time after she left G Herbo, she got with Javante Davis. She going through all these little ratchet things. Every ratchet chick started looking at her as their ratchet leader. So all I'm saying is that money bag yo won. My boy won. Probably look. Probably paid thirty, forty thousand over the span of the lease or whatever. He's paid. He paid forty thousand dollars, all included for this this car. He has dumbass hoes thinking that he bought the car. It goes back to why I took credit when when Selena said, "You want to take credit for buying my car?" I said, "Wait, I know how much her car her car costs. She bought a G wagon for a hundred and eighty six thousand dollars. I have the wiring paper. She wired the money, which that's how when you buy a car." I'm giving y'all, again, not flexing, just letting y'all know. Like, I used to think it was like the movies. Like, you walk in there with a bag of money and just throw it on the table and say, give me the car. No, it don't work like that. There's too much fake counterfeit bills. Like, no, like, they don't want you, unless, you, if you buy a car for 50000 maybe they'll take cash. You buy a car for two hundred, three hundred thousand, you're not bringing cash. Nigga, they want a wire. You feel me? So, you'll put a deposit, so they'll be like, yo, Swipe this on your credit card, ten thousand, or give them ten thousand. They'll take ten thousand in cash. So they they almost like, if the wire don't come through, they don't continue the process. But they're like, okay, here's the wire instructions. 
go to your go to your uh, bank, wire us the money. Once we get it, we'll finish the paperwork and we just sign the car over to you. But this shit right here, this is the finesse, man. I like this. I'm hoping to see a lot more shit like this. And by the way, I'm not knocking, I'm like, I want to be very clear. I'm not knocking Ari. She's not broke. And by the way, here's the funny part. <laughs> Y'all want to hear the funny part about it? I guarantee money back, yo, don't make no, those payments. Remember that 30 acres of property that she gave that nigga? If you think she bought that shit cash, nigga, I don't think she's stupid either. Look, Ari, no, wait, I'm opening a different tab. Ari gives money bag yo 30 acres. Look, this is good. Look at this. It feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, nigga, let me tell y'all the truth. This sh the twenty eight acres is in the middle of East Bumblefuck, nigga. That shit probably cost like four hundred thousand, and she put three thousand and thirty nine dollars on the fucking property, nigga. And money bag, yo, better finish the rest of the payments. That's the finesse, nigga. Buying your girl shit is just putting a down payment, nigga. Trust me. <laughs> You ain't never gonna see them 30 acres looking like Rick Ross's property. Told my, oh yeah, Ari bought me this. Yeah, nigga. 28.8 acres, nigga. 28 of those acres is wetlands, nigga. You can't build shit on. If y'all don't know about property, do look up wetlands, nigga. Uninhabitable. Swamps, gullies, bushes. The point eight acres, nigga, is just one solid rock. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> but it looked good on the gram. It looked good on the gram. <laughs> it looked good on the gram, nigga. And I guarantee since 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 the repo man just hauled off with her goddamn uh, um 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 car, if that nigga money bag yo don't keep paying for this goddamn wetlands, 28 acres of wetlands, nigga. You'll never hear about he's building or anything on it, nigga. Trust me. It's over. That shit is uninhabitable, nigga. That shit probably look like a Columbia forest, nigga. One of them shit that they be like, you know what I mean? B making all the cocaines in, nigga. You ain't building no fucking mansion over there. You need a machete to make your way, fool. You notice they ain't never shown no real overview of the land. They just said 28 acres. That sounded good. Let me tell you this, man. Somebody just said in the chat. Rappers are the king of layaway plans. I remember they just had this shit called, um, 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 what, what's it called? Damn, Kmart, Kmart. You ever heard of a store like that? That is other store too. Yo, shit costs $400, you put like $50 down, and you keep paying per month. They say you put it on layaway. These rappers, all layaway. All layaway, man. These rappers never seen a title to a car in their life. They never seen a deed to a house. The layaway plans, bro. Happy birthday. Yo, here's the funny thing about it. This is why I rap so fake. Nigga, all that matters. Yo, have you ever thought about I used to think about this to myself. I've seen like, like, you know, when somebody's birthday, you'd be like, oh, we just got this person this car or this whatever. Sometimes I follow these motherfuckers. I'm like, I ain't never see that car again. What the fuck? Nigga, I've seen one of these rappers gift a car to, to a chick. Nigga, the car ain't get approved to leave the dealership. They posted the video in the dealership. And they acted like they was about to leave with the car. Nigga, the car stayed there, nigga. Took another fucking week. Those liens on the car. All type of bullshit. Cap! Straight cap! Layaway plans, brother! It's 
like me saying, yo, I copped you a new iPhone, nigga. I put down $20, nigga, and now your bill going to be like, your bill going to be 200 a month. Did I buy you the iPhone, nigga, or did I put you in debt? This shit ridiculous. Look at this shit. Play well, 27 football fields worth of land. Nigga, this ain't the property. <laughs> <laughs> the property behind there, nigga. Wetlands, swamps, gullies, rivers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. 28.8 acres. This go up. She said it's paid for a jack. I'm paid for it, man. That's on the deed right there. You understand? You did? Cap. That ain't the fucking deed. Nigga, it sounded good, bro. I'm telling you that. Bro, this shit be sounding good, dog. This shit sound good. Here goes the deed printed out. Nigga, <laughs> this is one of them little 8 by 11 papers that come out of a fucking um, 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 uh, um, regular printer. They blew this up like it's a check. Yeah, all right, nigga. Nigga, I got my deed upstairs. It come with a fucking stamp by the state, nigga. This shit, this shit is made in Photoshop. Fuck out of here. I know this. I know the game, nigga. You're right. This looks like a Radio Shack poster, nigga. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm telling you, these artists, they're the king of layaway. Yo, let me tell you this, man. Yo, I got to find. Yo, I got to find. I got to find the shit. I got to find it, bro. I got to find it. Hold on. Let me, let me try to find it, bro. Bro, it going to trip you out. Yo. There's jewelry that niggas own that say they name. Imagine me having a chain that says Big Ack and I don't own the chain. The jeweler owns the chain. I'm making payments to him while I'm flexing with the shit every day. You know what I mean? When you realize what smoke and mirrors rap is, nigga, I'm telling you. This is why, like, and by the way, y'all gonna see how I, like, I'm a, like, the reason I gotta expose this shit, because I gotta keep it real. Because, granted, I'm definitely not the richest person. I got my little shit, I'm good. But I ain't keep it up with the Joneses. I bought that Lambo. Y'all gonna see it this year, next year, the year after. It's 2021. But unless I sell it, y'all gonna keep seeing it. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, that shit old. That's why I appreciate, you know, Soulja Boy with that old ass like Lambo? I appreciate him with that because he owned the car. When you see these motherfuckers switching out cars, these niggas have the newest of everything. Where did the old car go? I never heard about the old car. Like, you ain't never seen these niggas be like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all remember when this was hot in 2016, I bought it. I still got it. I've never heard that. You know why they niggas don't own the cars? It's just a constant cycle of just leasing, which nothing wrong with that either. But they purported to act like, yo, I just dropped 300 on it right now. No, you didn't, nigga. You dropped $10,000 and your payments is 2000 a month. So I'm going to tell you, I'm not keeping up with no Jones. Again, that's why I just learned that with the jewelry. Because, remember, I, I was a jewelry guy. Remember, I bought the chain. Now I bought the chain. I'm like, all right, man, okay, you know, finally, I got, I got a little Cuban. I'm in the game now. Then the jeweler say, yo, act, I can get you some crazy shit. Yo, the nigga was, so when I was getting a jewelry, he wanted me to get this Richard Millie. He kept showing me a Richard Millie. I'm like, yo, bro. Like, I, I quoted him the bar. I think Meek said, I said, bro, they said Richard Millie costs a Lambo. Nigga, I'm not putting no fucking Lamborghini on my fucking wrist. I'm not spending 250 fucking thousand dollars on a fucking watch that just got a bunch of, like, nigga, that shit, like, no disrespect to Richard Millie, because I actually went to the party. I met the actual guy named Richard Millie. No disrespect to him, but, like, brother, 250,000 out of my price range, okay? You know what nigga said? Bro, nobody pays 250,000. Like, get a payment plan. I'm like, oh, hell to the fucking no, nigga. What? I'm good. See that? So I only say that to y'all because I used to think it was only cars. Jewelry is big. So let me give you the jewelry game. This is what, I, this is what the jewelers told me. Yo, Ak, you don't got to buy the jewelry straight up. So, so it's a little Cuban I, I got. Um, it was, it's like it's 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 a two tone. I don't know the like whatever whatever, but it was like sixty, right? Then I got a bracelet that was like twenty. Um, 
this is what they told me. They said, yo, you don't even have to buy it, but like put it like this. You could like, so I own it, right? But they're like, yo, you could pay instead of like 80,000, you could have paid like 15, have it for a few months. We'll make some, we'll, we'll take that back, make some new shit. We're going to polish it, whatever, whatever, sell that to or lease it to another nigga, right? Then we going to get you some new shit that you could keep flexing like you're constantly spending money. These niggas ain't spending money. So I'm just telling y'all now, when y'all be like, yo, Ak, you still got that same 2021 fucking Lamborghini? I'm going to be like, yeah, nigga, I was stupid enough to buy it. <laughs> nigga, I, I can't get a new car every, er, er, well, I am getting a new car, but, but yeah, but still, like, nigga, I'm not keeping up with the Joneses. That's what I'm trying to say. So when y'all see me with the same shit, like, damn, nigga, you've been rocking that shit for five years. Yeah, fuck, nigga. I, I had to buy it. These niggas not buying that shit. All right. Anyway. I ain't gonna... No, land. Just give him a cake. <laughs> thought that count. The thought that count. count. That's all the thought that count. Did you... Yo, salute to Moneybag, yo, because this relationship helped his ass, man. All right. Uh, what else did they buy for each other? I feel like they gifted mad, mad shit to each other. Hold on. Um, money bag, yo, gifts, Ari. What else he gave her? He probably gave her some other shit. All right, this is Cap. Surprise her with a private jet. No way. Is No fucking way. <laughs> no way. Wait. Three is gifts for her 27th birthday. Look at this. So cute. Whoa! Yo, you know why this shit is crazy? First of all, let me be very clear. That plane cost $80 million. Money back, yo, don't got $80 million. Okay? It's no disrespect. Just dump. To even think. Let me tell you this. This is probably the reality. And I, I'm trying to give you the reality probably when you see shit like this. And by the way, I don't think Money Bag Yo ever posted like, oh, I got her on jet. But let me tell you this. Most of these private jets you see these niggas on, like, if, if, I, if I fly from, so there's a local air, uh, Clearport, very popular in the Northeast area, Teterboro. If I fly from Teterboro to LAX, right, uh, on a plane I could carry about 12 to 14 people. And by the way, I have jet, like, you know, these little broker people. They're always in my inbox. I'm, I'm, so I'm just giving you a realistic price. For a one-way trip, it's probably going to cost, um, let's not say 12 to 14. That's a bigger jet. Because it goes by how big of a jet you need. Let's say it's going to be eight to nine. So it could be, um, there's certain type of jets that I'm, um, actually, I could probably pull up one of the websites. Like, nigga, you could actually, like, shit, these, this is what you'd be realizing the cap, too. Nigga, you just type it in. <laughs> Teterboro, Teterboro. Oh, shit, let me see. Jersey. Uh, okay. Teterboro, LAX, right here. Date, say we're going to go. When y'all want to go, chat? I'm booking a private jet right now. I'm booking a private jet. Come on. We're going to do it right now. Nigga, the thing I was saying about this money back, yo shit. First of all, they probably even pay for the jet. You don't pay for the jet? Either the fucking label or the promoter who booked money back, yo. So that's like, say they pay money back, yo. You know, he said he got paid. 350000 for a show not too long ago. I'm going to lowball him a little bit. Pause. Let's say he got paid 200000 but it also includes the travel, which the promoter is going to pay for the jet. They probably have a deal with the jet. They could probably get a little bit less off. So they're paying for the transportation. You know what all these rappers are going to do? They're going to act like this. First of all, most of these, it's only until like a couple years ago these niggas used to act like they own a jet. That's why it was so interesting when, um, when the whole gunner thing happened because... The niggas who own the jet, they employ pilots and they have a broker. They don't, to them, Gunna is fucking broke. They don't want Gunna coming on a plane smelling like weed, acting up, doing all this pushing pee, like, like itching himself and sniffing whiffers. Nigga, get the fuck off my plane, nigga. I'm telling you the truth. Like, bro, they, like they're looking at these like, get these niggas off my fucking plane, bro. You know all that, you know what I mean? Like, like these niggas was acting like they own the plane. Y'all don't own shit. So I'm not here knocking anyone who who leases. I've I lease cars too. Um, 
I lease cars that I'm trying to write off for business purposes. So the, so the cars I drive every day that I'm driving back and forth to work, I lease. The cars that are supercars, like an R8, which I own, which I literally have for selfish purposes because I just like that car. Also, I don't want to get in trouble with a tax man. I'm not trying to finesse that like, oh, that's some work vehicle. No, that's a toy. You know what I mean? Um, whatever you choose to do, you could do. However, gifts when it comes to rappers and their IG models are usually done as down payments. It's layaway plans. And... Most layaway plans for cars go either five years if you're financing, if you're leasing, it could be two or three years. And best believe if you break up with your Instagram model girlfriend and you lease the expensive car for her, she's going to have to pay the bill if she wants to keep it or the repo man will come for that bitch. I'm not surprised. All right, let's keep this bitch going. Um, oh, shit. 